shaky. Hey, girl. Hey, how are you? My name is Katie. This is Capturing Fashion with Katie. We're a little boutique. It's a little bit echoey. You're going to find out here in just a second. I decided I wanted to do a quick tour of my Lula space. If you've been watching me for a while, I'm not sure. I think I've mentioned it maybe once on these videos. I know I've mentioned it in lives on Facebook, etc. Um, but I talk about my space where I do my lives and where I do most of these fit videos that you see here on YouTube. Um, and how I wish so much I had one of those super cute spaces that you see some of these fancy boutiques with. Um, I even have a friend who sold LuLaRoe and she used to stand in front of a rack of clothes just like the rest of us. And then as soon as she closed down and reopened as her own boutique, she redid her whole space and made a fancy shiplap wall with a logo and a chair and all this cute stuff. And I would love to do that with LuLaRoe. Um but I just don't have the space. Um, my room is pretty small, so that's why my setup looks the way it looks, but I wanna kinda show you the whole thing, like a little tour of the area. You don't need a whole lot of space to do this. Um, my space, I will admit, is bigger than some people's. Some people's, compared to others, is very, very small. But for some, I know people that work off of just a rack or two pushed into the corner of their bedroom. Um, one that cleaned out a coat closet, um, and just use that boxes in the corner, you know, you can make this work for you. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you how I make it work for me because I want you to understand why my space isn't pretty. This is all just because I want it to be pretty and it's not. You see my silly backdrop and my dirty floor. And did I clean the room before I started this? No, no, I did not. Because why? Because it's not real. This is real. You get the real life. We even have boxes right down here and there's trash and we're not even in the room yet so this is my space i'm on like a tripod that we're gonna carry this is my lula room it's messy did i clean it for you no i'm very sorry but real life happening here so we're gonna close the door so the dog can't come in also because there are things to be seen by that door so here is my space this is actually where you always see me doing our fit videos I feel like the light is not great because I don't have a ring light this time um, typically I have a ring light right here and you can see it in my glasses it's just the name of the game there is no way to avoid it I need glasses to see you need the ring light to see the clothes that's the way it's going to work it just has to work that way this is my door this is my mirror this is what I have. This is a plate on the floor because I have a baby. <laughs> she brings clothes or toys in here all the time. Now, I want to start by saying that right there. This is my good old Sally Jo mannequin. I just made her name up right now, okay? Um, back in the day, if you followed LuLaRoe for a while, we used to put everything on a mannequin to take its picture. Now we really go more towards like a flat lay um, or we hold it up, we wear it, etc. that kind of thing. But this setup that I have going on right here is um, used to be a little bit better when that was the way we took pictures, okay? So we had, um, I would take the mannequin and I put the clothes on it and it would go in front of my back backdrop which worked perfectly for that now what you're usually seeing when I do lives or fit videos is this door however let me show you however look there is my backdrop there is the little crank to pull it down and here is what I do every day oh look the other way every day before I go live before I do a fit video Pull that sucker right down here, set up my little ring light, and I stand here and talk to you. So that's why you see the floor that has strings on it because, let's face it, when you open this mini clothes, you're going to get some loose strings. You can vacuum it, and literally two days later, it looks like you've been vacuumed in a year. So that's just the way it looks. There's my shoes over here I forgot to put on before I decided to go live because this is, I'm not even live. I'm making a video, but that's what I do. So there is my lovely backdrop. Now that looked, and that worked amazingly when we stuck a mannequin in front of it and it was cut off right there. But now we stand in front of it. I put my rack of clothes in front. 
We broke her. I put my rack of clothes in front and we're done. We broke her. We broke her face. Poor Sally Jo. Um, so I have a rack, a movable rack that I move in front here every day before I go live. And that's how I do it. Is it the prettiest setup in the world? No, but it gets the job done. Um, now, I kind of want to show you the rest of the room. I typically have a ring light right here. Like I said, it's not a very big room. This is usually all you see. So what is behind me could be a wall or it could be a huge room full of clothes. It's neither. It's a very small room full of clothes. Um, so I'm going to fool you. Here's the rack that we were just standing in front of. Here's a little tiny thing of leggings. I told you it's a mess. Those are my clothes right there. Um, I used to stand in front of this rack, which would be all of my new stuff. Now it is typically my sold stuff. There's nothing there because everything is shipped. The things that are there, I don't even, I couldn't even tell you. Things that I kept that I didn't put away, old things, things, I don't know what they are, but they're there. Um, and then supplies over here, a corner of old stuff. I've got um, Ikea bags in there and I have a box of some old styles. And then this is it. This is the whole thing. Let me back up. All of the clothes. Yes, I am short and I need a hook to get those down like you see in the department stores. So those are all of my shirts. Um, flip around here and you see more mess. Those are my clothes too. I tend to come in here and change my clothes and then they go right there. There's just some color changing cups back there behind, underneath those clothes. There's some giveaway items that I have stocked away. There is my very messy desk that has, yes, dolls because I have a child and she's in here all the time bringing me all of the things my computer, my messiness. There's my drink. I have some jewelry, some shipping supplies. Um, and then we come back around and we have the same on the other side. This one is a little bit higher. Actually, I think they're both the same, but they are dress length. Um, all of this is thanks to my husband. When we moved in, he installed these racks for me. He installed and came up with the little thing to make my, um, uh, my backdrop come down and then you can see another board but the backdrop if I take photos this is how I do it so here you can see my ring light this is where it is when it's out of the way when I'm not going live and I have just a basic cheap TV tray and this board that I have another one of my backdrops on glued on there and I drop this right down here it's little. Some people say, how do you do it? I know some people that have boards that are even smaller. We put the ring light down, we turn it on that way. Bam! We lay the clothes down. I take the pictures. I do the things. So then we have to move it back out of our way. And that's it. We have a laundry basket down there that has sold items before, once they're bagged and ready to be shipped out. My space is not very big, but it works. Would I love to make, say maybe this whole wall, a gorgeous space to go live? Absolutely, but then where would I put this? There's also a dresser that is full of inventory. This whole rack, which is gorgeous. My, wall, my door is a double door, so it takes up a lot of room. Um, every other wall has a rack on it, except for the wall with the window that's got my desk on it. It's got shoes underneath it because I come in here and I change my clothes a lot. Um, so that is my little space. And mostly I just wanted to show you, um, because some days I roll this rack right here in front of this, in front of this backdrop and I go live or I stand in front of it to talk to you. Um, and I sometimes I feel like nobody even notices and it doesn't even matter and I'm getting the job done. And other days I feel like, gosh, I wish this looks so much cuter. This looks so dumb. These people on the YouTubes are probably not even watching me or they're like, why does she suck or have her camera the wrong way? You know, I have my camera the wrong way. Here, here's another little thing about my YouTube videos, guys. I'm not a YouTube professional. I sell clothes on the internet. They're very, very pretty clothes and they make me feel beautiful and I hope that they make you feel beautiful too. 
But if I turn my camera sideways, I never know where to look. Every time I rewatch it, I look ridiculous, like I'm looking in all of the weirdest places. And it just looks dumb. And this always just looks better to me. So this is the way we go. When you're watching it on a phone anyways, it's fine, right? Is it bad? Does it bother you that it's the wrong way? I mean, I can work on it, I guess. I also don't edit my photos. We just dropped a mannequin, or my photos, my um, my videos. We dropped a mannequin back here. Um, I could have retaken that whole thing. I could have cut it out. I could put it into a program. I'm sure there are great ones out there. The one I have is not the best ever. It's free. It's going to put a watermark down in the corner, and then it's going to take 30 minutes for it to save, depending on how long my video is. And then it's going to take another 30 minutes to load it onto YouTube. And I'm frequently in a time crunch because if you are just watching me here on YouTube, you could be watching this anytime. I'm making this in August of 22. You could be watching this in July of 2004. 25. I don't know. <laughs> you could be watching this next month. You could be watching this next year. But when I make these videos, um, my fit videos today, it's June. I would make another one, but we already have one. Go find it. Um, I typically am trying to get these done and out to my Facebook group before my, um, before my lifetime, which is always, almost always, four o'clock Pacific Standard Time, seven Eastern. So I don't have a lot of time once I get the box, once I try it on, once I make the video, once I take the pictures, once I upload it, there's not usually a lot of time to get that information out. So I don't take the time to edit it. Also, very real. <laughs> so if I stumble over my words, if I drop a mannequin, if I drop something on the floor, if you do not know, if I drop something, everybody gets to drink. Have a drink. It could be water. It could be whiskey. I don't care. But when I drop things, which I do, you get to drink. We made it a game. That's how often it happens. Um, so I just want to be real. I don't want to look like um, my Instagram account, which I try and make very pretty. It's not always very pretty, but I try. Um, I don't want you to think that everything is perfect all the time, that you need to have a perfect space, that you need to have a perfect setup, that you need to be perfect to sell LuLaRoe or to do anything in life. So I brought to you my room. It is still, it's messy. I will admit I cleaned up the shoes a little bit and I had some clothes that were on the floor that needed to go up that I put, that I put away. But other than that, it's very messy. You saw, um, and that's just the way I live my life. I'm sorry. Um, and it's the way that I work. But I wanted just to share with you, I am a one woman show. So um, some of these people that have, amazing spaces and do a whole huge volume have so many helpers they have assistants and everything i am just me it's just me my dog is outside i'm surprised he's not whining because the door is closed usually there's a baby she just started uh preschool she only goes two days a week this is only my third day ever where she has not been here so she's usually in and out and distracting me i do shipping, unboxing, um, hanging, modeling, lives, shipping, 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 all by myself. So it's definitely doable. It's something that you can do if you choose to do it. Um, and if you don't choose to do it now, maybe you understand a little bit more about my little space and what I do here every day. So that's it. It's just a video to talk to you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed how my hair came uncurled again. I bet you it's not the first time you've heard me talk about that. So we do have a live tonight. If you are on Facebook, come to the Facebooks. Join me if you're not already there. Give this video a little bit of love. Subscribe to my channel. It's usually fit videos. Every once in a while, throw in something like this. But I usually will try on our new styles tell you about the fit and their details and all of that good stuff. Like I said, right now I'm wearing the June. We have a video on that below. Um, and our passionate rise yoga pants that yes, I have been wearing every single day since we got them. We have a video on those as well. Um, and I will see you guys on the next one. Yeah. Bye-bye.